My name is Rene Izquierdo, I'm a classical guitar professor at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee and I want to talk to you about our new upcoming CD of Cuban music. We are in the island of Combray, Scotland, and behind me is the Cathedral of the Isles. We came and recorded a session of two days of Cuban music from the 19th century to the 21st century. album is something very close and personal. Many years ago, when when I wanted to, you know, record the standards, uh, Rodrigo and all that, I had a conversation with Maestro Jorge Morel, and he told me once, well, you know, if you do that, it has been done so many times before. How are you going to create an identity out of there? And then he made me think very carefully about my choices of, of creating um, a legacy of a recording. Antonio Rojas was a civil engineer that played guitar by ear. And it was until not too long ago that he passed away, unfortunately, but he left a very vivid legacy of guitar compositions of traditional Cuban music. You guys are probably familiar with the Guajira Mi Madre, which is a, one of his more famous compositions, but we did uh, several other small ones uh, that I think are like haikus of Cuban music. And they're very, very, very beautiful and, and very unique in the sonority and the way the guitar is used uh, and the harmony is used and implemented. We have a few compositions of Eduardo Martin, another great Cuban classical guitarist and composer that he, he used to play in a duo, Duo Confluencias, and he has a massive, substantial amount of, of composition for, for classical guitar. One of them is called Mirandote, which is a song that he dedicated to his son when he saw him for the first time. Mirandote means looking at you, so it was like the reaction he had when he actually look at his son for the first time and it's actually a very very beautiful piece and with the acoustics of the cathedral made it all the more special for me Another composition, actually, that, that I would like to uh, share with you is uh, Preludio and Canción Triste by Carlos Fariñas. Fariñas was a composition uh, teacher at the university in Cuba. When I studied, he gave like uh, some classes on contemporary music uh, on the 20th century analysis. My father played guitar a little bit as a hobby, and he used to play uh, one of them that is called Canción Triste sad song and I remember that from my early childhood listening to this piece and it's a, a, really a pleasure for, to finally to come around and play the piece myself. When I started to overlook uh, the choices that I did I realized that uh, you know it's been 23 years since I left Cuba and part of I think the choices were without wanting to be that were things that were more of, of what Cuba is in my memory. Just a uh, place of childhood, of many special memories in which I haven't seen for many, many years, but they're still very vivid on my mind. And there are a few of them very sad songs in there. So, but I, I think it's, uh, it's actually why I feel. Part of me through this CD becomes very vulnerable because you can see, when I was recording, I was really taken aback about how much I really miss my country. I tried to cover a wide range of, of compositions from the 19th century Cuban 
Manuel Saumel, we recorded four duos with Elena uh, Chekan, Belarusian guitarist, who happens to be my wife too. The dancers from Manuel Saumel are our first really nationalistic uh, impulse in music, uh, in Cuban composition and creation. It's very meaningful to be able to keep including also part of the roots, not only part of the guitar composition, but also transcriptions from Cuban music that have been adapted for the guitar and works really, really well. Sindo Arai used to sing these beautiful melodies and compose these beautiful, beautiful Cuban tunes that used to be sang and accompanied by guitar. So in this version, this is an arrangement by Ray Guerra, uh, we got to uh, work in combining the lyricism of the melody with the beautiful harmonizations and progressions through the piece. as well as two wonderful arrangements by Maestro Manuel Barraco of uh, Ernesto Lecuona, La Comparsa, which is a staple of Cuban music, and the Danza Lucumí, uh, which is Lucumí is a, a religious group of, of uh, African in Cuba that uh, when they came to the country and they were bought to work in Cuba plantations, they used to have big mixture of religions because there were people from different areas of Africa thrown into one place, uh, one common place, and they all formed these small circles because they could speak the language and they had some common points. So some of that tradition are still very strong and, and vivid in Cuba. The Lanza Lucumí is a, a way of depicting what we call La Cubanía, which is the, the traditional the traditional Cuban sound through the composition of Ernesto Lecuona. Some staples of compositions from Leo Brower that I always wanted to do, uh, the Preludios Epigrammaticos, based on poems by Miguel Hernández, Poemas de Amor, love poems by Miguel Hernández, and they're actually, every title is a, as poignant as the music itself. It's very beautiful, very clever writing, and I'm looking forward for you to actually listen uh, to that piece uh, through my eyes and through my fingers. I always wanted to record also the Black Decameron because it was the piece that actually brought me to play music and inspired me to, to play classical guitar. Uh, in, in one of the festivals in Havana in 1984, I heard Costa Concioles performing. And I, it was the first time in my life that I had goosebumps as a reaction to the music. And it was something so unique, I remember so powerful, that right immediately after the concert, I told my father that I wanted, that I wanted to play uh, guitar and be able to make people feel what I felt. Overall, I think this CD, I tried to be as much as I could out of the beaten path of the music that is being recorded lately of, of what Cuban music is. And I think it's, uh, it's a flavor of all what makes Cuba. That when people talk about salsa music, salsa music is a compendium and a conglomeration of uh, mambo, cha-cha-cha, montuno, danzón. So this CD, in some way also encompasses all the wide variety and gamma of Cuban composition. I think it will be a worth it addition and it will be my sincere tribute to my country uh, that I miss so much and, and I hope you all can enjoy it the same way I have. I'm very pleased uh, with the results. The acoustics were amazing, very intimate, very beautiful. And thank you to Varus Record and Urush for an amazing job. It made the whole process very smooth and very enjoyable. So I'm looking forward to, to share with you this new outcome. <laughs>